Welcome back, everybody. We have progressed on into May. Time's flying. We're having lots of fun. Uh, so what I did after I dropped off our little gator and trailer after selling our last little batch of tomatoes is I went around and wiped out pretty much every tree I could find around our fields because they were driving me nuts. Oh, let me get this closed up. Oh, we're not in far enough to close that up. Uh, and in doing so, it was actually lucky for us, I found two bales that were hanging out in the grass covered by all the trees. So um, it worked out really well for us. We got a couple extra bales of silage out of the, out of the works. So, um, and then all the trees that I took down and ran over and sold that made us around $19,000 in wood. Um, and God, I tell you, it took forever and a day to get it done. I actually had to take the time down to one times because I was working like a dog into the dark. Um, so we were going to take a look into this farmhouse and see if it belonged to us and as we can see by looking at this map it does not um that's just part of the the city streetways so uh not for us unfortunately would have been nice to have another little place to put some stuff and park some stuff but it's not meant to be um when it comes to farmland here, I'm just looking at where our next expansion should possibly go. And it's looking like Field 48 is looking like the prime candidate. It's the cheapest little piece of land that's close by. Um, these are all in the hundreds or higher, and it's crazy. But this Field 48 only $57,000 and it's actually at a high right now it's 7% above normal selling costs so it's probably going to be around 48 49 um, so this is one we're going to look at but the thing that we have to do first is get some sheep uh, we've got some good money from all the lumber that we sold so we're going to get some sheep in um, all of our crop is growing. Nothing is ready to, to harvest. We've got our soybeans growing away. And over here, we've got our field of barley growing away. This is probably going to come up ready for harvest first before anything else. Um, but I think what we're going to look at is getting ourselves some sheep. Now, I know absolutely nothing about sheep. I don't know which ones are better for doing wool or if they all kind of go at the same rate or... Um, so sheep eat grass and hay, they require water. So easy enough. I was talking about cutting that field in half and making half hay and, and half grass or 60% grass and 40% hay, right? So um, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a little bit of landscaping today and we'll get that figured out. So we just got to decide which one of these critters we want, uh, which which one we like the looks of the most. I'm, I'm thinking these guys, they look all nice and white and poofy. So <laughs> um, I think that we'll go with some of these guys. Uh, we're looking at $500 per. Why don't we just get, you know, let's let's go for, uh, I think we'll go for 10 of these guys and maybe 10 of these guys. I like the, the white sheep better than the, the dark ones. So let's, uh, just because these are the ones I'm more familiar with seeing around the farms when I was growing up. So let's take 10 of these guys and buy them. And we'll take 10 of these guys and buy them. Okay, so now we don't actually have any out there outside of the pen. Maybe we'll have to uh, widen this out a little bit so it doesn't look weird. 
Got some jail breaks going on. That's okay. It's close enough. Um, so we don't have any actual hay here for them to eat because we just turned everything into silage. So I think what we'll do is we'll go and we'll buy a hay bale and, or two and we'll get these guys some food and we'll get it brought over here for them. Um, and then I think that we'll look at um, seeing if we've got some contracts that we can maybe take to to get ourselves going. But I think we need pig food too. Yeah, look at the pig health down to 16%. They're out of food. So we need, let's do this now because I will forget. Uh, we need pig food. Let's get them. We'll get them four bags of pig food. And then we'll get some hay bales for our, uh, for our nice new sheep. So we'll get We'll get four, just because it's going to be a while before we can cut and make hay uh, of our own. So we'll we'll get four. We'll have lots there for them, and they will be happy. So let's buy that as well. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do some transport to get some stuff over here. So what I'll do is, uh, rather than make you watch me go back and forth to the store fifteen times, we'll. Uh, We'll get it all taken care of, and we will bring you back when we're ready to rock and roll. So stick around, folks. We'll get our pigs fed and our sheep fed. All right, folks. We've got everything brought over from the store. That took a while to get done. So we're going to get some hay put in here for the sheep to eat. we got the other two bales sitting right here ready to be poked. <laughs> So we'll get these guys uh, picked up as well and put in there. And then we'll go and drop the, uh, the pig food into their paddock for them. Hopefully that takes all that hay, or is it full? Well, better to be full and then we don't have to worry about it than... Okay, so the max it can hold is 12, like 11,500 liters. So these two bales have about five, 6,000 liters left in them. So it'll just keep filling it out up by itself. Uh, now it says that they need water, but it looks like they've already got water in here. I think it just automatically puts the water in. So that's good. We don't have to worry about, uh, about doing that. Um, at some point today, I want to hook up to the slurry tank and pull all the slurry out of the uh, out of the storage there, because uh, better to get it sorted out than leave it sitting in there and forget about it and have it maximize out. Okay, I'm going to do this this way so I can see what the hell I'm doing. We'll widen these out a little bit. And we'll lower them down. Level them off here. We should be... Should be able to pick these guys up here with no problems. Nice. Let's get this over and drop some food in for these guys, our neglected pigs. I never even thought when we slept uh, to come and check the food because we had let it get down pretty low. So thankfully I don't have, uh, there is some mods out there that when your pig's health, or not just pigs, any of your animal's health gets down to zero, the animals will actually start dying, which, you know, they should, and we are kind of doing a realism series here, so I probably should have that mod in place. Um, but I find that, uh, you know, if you've got a bad memory, like I do, as you all know, 
you'll end up uh, losing a boatload of animals because uh, their health moves really fast when they've got no food. And it's really easy when you've got a bad memory to forget to put food into your uh, into your little pastures for your animals here. So thankfully, that's good. It probably saved us a whole bunch of uh, dead piggies. Okay, so let's go over and take a look at the field over here. Uh, like I said, I, I want to kind of cut it into two parcels. I know I could leave it all as one, and I'm going to lose a little bit of um, lose a little bit of my field size by cutting it in half physically with um, by removing some of the actual field to to separate it into two fields. But um, I'd rather have it separate so that I know what the heck I'm doing and where my boundaries are, and I don't uh, don't forget because, like I said bad memory here. I could see myself completely forgetting and not doing the proper um... Oh, I thought there was a tilt in here that you could uh... No, guess not. Okay, so we've got this is the end of the field that in precision farm says it gets a really really high yield so thinking maybe if we take this portion over here up right next to the uh, boundary of the, of the little pond there if we cut this here um, and I'm gonna try and keep this as <clears throat> uh, least like minimal amount of damage as possible so that we don't use up a lot of our uh, our field, but I'm thinking just about cutting cutting like this, and then just like rounding off both ends. I think that's what we'll do. No going back now. We're gonna make two separate fields. As easy as that. There we go. So we're going to have hay over here. And we're going to have silage over here. So that we can support both our sheep and our cattle. That we're going to eventually end up uh, getting because we are definitely going to get cattle we're going to buy that cow barn probably after we sell off all of our uh, all of our silage here so we'll be prepped for that uh one thing i kept forgetting about i don't know if they're still sitting here we should go see yeah this little bit of seed that's sitting here i think we'll get the bucket from the front end loader and see if we can actually pour it into the machine here um, I'm hoping we can, but I don't know. If we can, excellent. Let's, we'll pour it into the machine and top up our cedar. If we can't, then we'll just get rid of it because, uh, I don't like having it there. It drives me crazy. Can't have it be out of control here, you know? Gotta have it looking nice and, uh... Who'd be leaving seed laying out in the middle of their courtyard? Oh, we'll just leave this down. We don't want to be uh, don't want to be trying to lift the seed too high. We'll just pick it up and put her in there. Fingers crossed, it all works. So let's get over and drop these forks into our other shed. We'll pick up the bucket. And we'll go from there. That bucket's kind of uh, in a bad spot. Hopefully we can attach to it. Somehow it got all twisted. I must have bumped into it with something. We'll straighten it out. And we'll pick it up. Nice. 
Okay, let's see if we can't scoop this seed up. I'm pretty sure it will let us scoop the seed up. That's not my problem. My problem is, is it going to let us pour it into the... Uh... Did it not let me scoop that seed? It didn't. Good lord, I thought for sure it was going to let me... Uh... Just make sure that our bucket's down properly. Maybe I didn't have it down all the way. I thought for sure it was going to let me... There we go. I figured that it would let us do that. Okay, let's get back in here. And let's see what happens here. Is it going to let us pour this seed into this thing? I didn't look to see if it's full. It's not full. It's 88%. So, uh, fingers crossed, this is going to let us dump the seed in here. That's going to take it. I think it, I think it took some because it's saying the bucket's down to 33%. So this is probably going to be 100% now. Yeah, beautiful. It did. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, because we haven't really used the bucket a lot, if at all, we're going to take the bucket and we're going to set it down over here with the seed in it. And then when it comes time to fill up the cedar again, we'll know we have a little bit of seed in that bucket and we'll fill it from there. So let's get uh, let's get our forks back on. That seems to be the, the attachment we use the most. Okay. And we'll get this cedar put back away. So it's out of the way. And then we'll uh, get the bale trailer put out of the way. Because it's kind of sticking out of the front of the barn. <laughs> and we'll take a quick look at uh, our silage. We'll see where it is fermenting wise. I think we need at least another week if not even further into the next month before it's going to be ready. I'm not back far enough yet. Okay, let's get this guy inside the barn or the shed. But we can close our doors. Nice. Okay, so our pigs are fed, our sheep are fed. We're gonna go over here, take a look at our silage, see how it's doing. 42%. So it's gonna take at least into June, maybe the second week of June before everything's ready to go. Um, I'm going to come up here and just take a quick peek at the water level in our greenhouse. So we're sitting at 13,000 liters. That's good. How's this looking? Perfect nitrogen, perfect pH. We got the same over here, so that's good. So we don't need to worry about looking after our fields. So let's see if we can find ourselves some contracts to do. To, uh, fill a little bit of time and also depending on which contracts are out there we may end up getting ourselves a discount on that field we wanted to pick up so let's take a look at who owns field 48 who's the owner of that field so it's actually 38 in there okay so let's go to contracts See if we can, so 38. So Xavier Guin. So he needs some stuff done. So he wants 
grass turned into hay and then baled. So we've got all the equipment we would need to do that on that field. Um, does he own any other fields that we can do some work in? I think we're going to take this one anyways. It's a cheap contract, but it's going to get us a little bit of money towards a discount towards buying that field from him. And like I said, we have everything we need to do the job. So we may as well accept the contract and do it. We'll take that one. Uh, let's see if he's got any more fields that he owns that we can do some work on and get a discount from him. Now we don't have a weeder, so we're not doing any of that. There's no harvesting yet. Everything's growing. Everything should already be in the ground. So I would see weeding, baling for grass, hay, straw, not straw, and uh, maybe some fertilizing. So we're going to get get the baling. We're going to go over here and open up the shed, get out our gear, and we'll head over to that field and we'll get uh, we'll get it all cut. We'll get everything tedded up, and while we're waiting for it to dry, we can uh, see what else we got on the go. First mower is attached. We'll get the second one on there. See that? Oh, that just looks amazing. I'm gonna have to uh, make the HUD go away, and we're going to get a nice, nice screenshot of our beautiful sheep and pigs. Looking so nice. Okay, let's get our second mower attached, and we'll drive on over to that field and get to work. So, we're going to hop up here, we are far enough ahead, we can unfold everything. And we'll turn on everything, and lower everything, and we'll, let's get cutting. This is a nice small field, so it definitely won't take long to get uh, won't take long to get done. Pick that up while we turn around here. folks this is the last of the hay to pick up and I have to admit we got a lot more bales than I thought we were gonna get off of this little field um, I think it's at 12 or 13 bales so uh, pretty damn good for such a small field so originally I wasn't sure if we were even gonna get five or six bales off of this field um, 
so what I think we'll do is I was originally just going to grab the bale spike and uh, and manually run them over one at a time but I think we'll go with our original idea and we'll bring the bale trailer over and um, we'll just take the bale trailer and we will unload it just outside the trigger so that the bales don't sell right away and we'll manually push the bales into the trigger with our loader here. We'll, we'll definitely bring like the bale spikes so we can move them in there. Um, and we'll just move them in one or two at a time until we get uh, notification that the job is complete and then we'll put the rest of the bales over into our bale storage and use them for our sheep for food. So that is the plan. We just got to get the baler put away and pick up the bale trailer. And my goodness, we are going to have to uh, wash a boatload of our equipment. Um, I'm thinking about actually relocating the, uh, the pressure washer. Ugh, too close to that net. So yeah, I'm thinking about relocating the pressure washer and putting it over by here because we've got this nice light here I was thinking if we put the pressure washer right out by the light we can have the light on at night and if we have to wash equipment at night we've got the light there so we can see what the heck we're doing um, so as I said I want to pick up the, the bale spike so that we can take it with us just in case we need to uh, bring some home with us. It's got a, I figure at least one, maybe two, so we'll put the front end loader on this tractor. And you know what? We'll use the pallet forks. I'm okay with using the pallet forks. They stab into bales just fine by themselves, so we'll do that. Let's close this side and open this side. And we'll pick up this bale trailer and go get those bales. Let's go get her done, folks. I'll uh, I'll bring you back when we're at the sale point and we're getting ready to deal with the bales. I think that'll be the the easiest rather than driving back and forth and doing all that. So we'll bring you right back as soon as we're sitting at the sale point with the bales outside the trigger and we can finish off this contract. All right, folks. Here we are. Uh, it turned out it was 12 bales when all was said and done so we're gonna drop those 12 bales right there and we will uh, get the trailer put away over into the corner just over here for now and we'll uh, we'll start pushing these bales in maybe one or two at a time I just need to get this trailer kind of out of the way. That works because we are still going to need the trailer because we're going to have something left to take home. Uh, I guess we might not necessarily need the trailer because we can use our, uh, our pallet forks to... Uh, also take home what's left over so let's get these forks okay well, we'll get the one off the top first I guess get it dropped in there this is gonna take a little bit of time doing it one at a time but uh, 
like I said, I want to uh, I want to see if we can conserve as many of these uh, bales as possible. So we'll do two at a time when we can. We'll take the top one off first, and then we'll do the bottom two at a time. We'll see how much we jump. We were at 21%. Now we're at 54. Ooh. We might get a lot more bales to take home than I thought we were going to get. Oh, pick up. Go the other way. There we go. Yeah, 73. So these two, we could probably actually get away with doing just... I'm going to sell one. Or drop off one. Not sell. This will probably take us to 100% complete on the contract. And if it does, man, we got, we got hay for days. We won't have to make hay for a while to... Uh, oh, 91. Damn. I was hoping it was going to get us there. So we do need to do this second one from the bottom here. That's okay. That's, that's, oh, come on. Get the trailer with the bail. There we go. That's only half. Uh, so if we've got six hay bales to take home, that is phenomenal. And we get 231 bucks. Beautiful. So we've got six, oh, yeah, six bales left to uh, put back on the trailer and head for home. We've got our bales loaded up. We are heading back home. Beautiful. We'll get here. We'll throw this hay into our uh, barn, into our hayloft there. And then we'll complete the contract get paid and then we'll see oh, yi, yi. cut that corner a little too sharp come up this way a bit and turn it there we go so anyways as I was saying we'll uh, we'll get the, the bales put away and we will complete the contract and then we'll see how things are looking we'll maybe do a quick check on our animals for water and food wise make sure that they're all good to go and uh, make sure that they don't have any other needs I also gotta check the straw for the pigs we haven't done anything with crop in a while so we don't have any straw well so hopefully they're okay and there's our six hay bales beautiful all in all, I think uh, a pretty damn good uh, episode for today. We got oh so much work done. I would have liked to have done two contracts, but uh, you know, it is what it is. What we're going to do also is we're going to see how much that guy's uh, land is selling for now because we've done the contract for him. We should get a little bit of a discount on it. But for now, let's park the tractor and go take a look at the animals, make sure they're doing okay. Also, check on our silage and see where a boat sits at for fermenting. 57. Okay, beautiful. How are the animals doing? So they're at 80% health. They've got 11,000 liters of food, so they're doing quite well. Those bales still haven't disappeared, so they've got excess food. This is nice. The pigs are at 80% health. They've got almost 4,000 liters of food. We got lots of slurry. That's nice. And lots of straw left, so looking good there. We got for our greenhouse, lots of water, two pallets of tomatoes, 
So all in all, I think everything is looking really good around the farm today. Let's uh, take a quick check on the grass and see how it's progressing. So the pH and the nitrogen are not the best, so we'll probably end up doing some lime and fertilizer on that field in the next episode. Not going to do it today because it's getting pretty late in the day and I think we're done with this episode. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode today. I certainly enjoyed uh, bringing it to you. I'm having lots of fun with Farm Sim. Uh, even though you do hear a little bit of aggravation from time to time with the way that this map is working and some of the mechanics that drive me bonkers. But otherwise, things are going quite well. I'm having a blast with it, and I hope you guys are all enjoying it too. So, um, hope we'll see you out on the next one, everybody. Take care.